Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, today our video about this uh, false rabbi who claimed to be a rabbi. Obviously he grew up in Israel. And then for some reason, I don't know, some they are saying he married to a Muslim woman from Indonesia, I'm not sure. <coughs> and uh, this is one of the things to prove that he cannot be a rabbi because uh, a Jew is not allowed to, to, to marry from non-Jews. However, I'm not sure really if this is the case, but he is living in Indonesia right now. And this is explain a lot why he is being a potato for the Muslims. And actually, he is no one, but just to show everybody how we can, like, like we can make the, the potato mashed, and we can smash the liars. Uh, in this video here, a Muslim he called, and he is asking him to compare between the Muslim hate to the Jews and the Christian hate to the Jews. And for sure, as usual, he said, uh, first of all, that Muslims, they break the month of Ramadan fasting with him every day, which is against the Jewish teaching. Uh, for the Muslim, food is not a kosher for the Jews. Uh, but it's kosher for the Muslims, right? And in the same time, a Jew is not allowed to celebrate any kind of pagan religion with non-Jews. Ramadan is nothing but a, a pagan practice, and this guy, obviously, he is inviting people to his house, maybe uh, because his wife, she is a Muslim. Uh, now, in this video, he attacked the Christians, as usual, and he said that the Christians are the most people who hate uh, the Judaism. And for sure, the Muslim, he called him, and he asked him about uh, uh, what happened in Germany, etc., like well, how, many, how many Jews the Christians killed. In fact, what happened in Germany, it was the Christians fighting the Nazi and the army of Hitler was the Muslims, not the Christians. And all of us, we know the story, how many hundreds of thousands of Muslims from the Ottoman Empire and Bosnia and uh, uh, Sarajevo exactly, and from Albania, etc., they joined the Hitler army to kill the Christians and to kill the Jews. So this idiot, he's obviously, he have no honor and he have no dignity. And here I saw that he have an email. He posts his email here, as you see. Somebody asked him for his email, so he posted his email. Do you see it? So I decide to send to send an email for him, challenging him to debate me, and let us see if he will dare to do it. The email is ready. I'm going to send it in the front of your life. All right. And you can read the email, you know. I saw a few of your videos saying big lies about Islam. In other way, I understand you live in a Muslim country, so you are being their slave. However, keep going in defending as you wish, but do you dare to debate me? Uh, I'm telling him here we can do it in Skype. Uh, we can use Skype. All right, let me fix that. And you can broadcast on YouTube. Now, let us see if this coward, he dare really to accept the debate, and I'm going to click send. And let us see if soon he will give me the answer back and he will accept to debate me. But I think you know that this coward, he will never dare to say yes. For he's a potato, and he is fake, and he is false, and nobody actually watches video except Muslims. You can click at each name of those who they are posting under his video. You will see all of them, they are Muslims. Specifically, mostly Ahmadiyya. Because Ahmadiyya, they love those perverted-minded uh, uh, so-called Christians or even Jews. Because you can find those exist between us. Those who betray the truth and join the devil forces just for the sake of their own benefit and obviously because he live in Indonesia maybe he have a business there selling jewelries so he wanna he wanna stay alive and actually even in this video the Muslim he said to him let me click at send you will see that the one who calling him is Muslims and the Muslims they love him to death and even they are worried about his safety brother <laughs> Isn't it Muhammad he said Time will come And 
if a Jew hide behind a tree or a rock, the tree and the rock will say to the Muslims, there is a Jewish behind me, kill him. And yet this filthy creature, he is defending Islam. I don't care really what you think about Christianity, you are no one and you, you are not even a number. You like it, you don't like it, 99% of the Jews, they are already Christians and they are the best of us, not only Christians. So, I understand your hatred and I understand that you are really very depressed to see such a thing happening. And the Muslims are using him because obviously he is a good tool to prove something which does not exist. That Islam is a nice religion. And Mr. Rabbi, what his name, Rabbi what? Rabbi Tovia Singer is the best to prove it. Uh, let me tell you something about being a rabbi or being a Jew. This face is not a face of a Jew and you cannot be a Jew. The Jewish people, they have certain look. You can go and search and you will see how the Jewish people look like. Blonde, blue eyes, gr green eyes, all of this is not a Jewish look. That means you are mixed big time with other people who have nothing to do with Judaism. The Jewish people, they have a small eye, certain face, you know. Uh, maybe I should post some pictures of how the Jews look like. And then you will see what I'm talking about. The Jews, remember, are an ethnic, not a religion only. So the ethnic, and they are against mixing with others. A Jewish person cannot marry from non-Jews. This is why they keep the same look. Those have nothing to do with the Jews. If you are a blonde, if you have a blue eyes, if you have a green eyes, don't fool yourself and believe that you are a Jew. Maybe today you are called a Jew because supposed your family before you, etc. But obviously you lost your ethnic and what is left is that the book you claim that you belong to. Let us see if he is going to answer me and accept the debate. But I am sure this coward he will never do so. And for sure we will debate about all his claims regarding Islam and how good Islam is for the Muslims. And I assure you, I will make you history. And I will... I don't know what's your career. Or, you know, I don't think your career is about being a rabbi. Uh, who is going to hire a guy like this? I mean, seriously. This guy is a rabbi for who? I challenge him even to tell me he is a rabbi for who? I want to see he is a rabbi in which synagogue in the world. And how many Jews they go there. And how come all those who post in your video are Muslims? Why is that? Alright? Uh, and all the questions is against the Christians. And it's so obviously this guy, he have a mental issue. He loves to spread hate against Christianity. This is why the Muslims, they like it, you know, they love it, they enjoy it, but who care? However, I'm making this video just to show everybody that you are not a rabbi. If you are, you should accept the challenge. And I'm going to pause for here, here. If you dare to debate me. Say yes and be the man. I'm waiting. Actually, I, I posted already for him, not only the email, the post underneath. All right. You see my post here? I told him to add me, to add my Skype, Debate TV, and I'm waiting for you and don't be a coward. So let us see if this man is really a brave or he is a coward and he have nothing but a gas inside the balloon. Christ is Lord and Islam made by a dummy for the dummy like this rabbi. Thank you. Caller, welcome sure. to Tanakh Talk. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for calling. What's the question for your rabbi? Yes, uh, my name is Afroz. I'm calling from New Jersey. Very and good. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna very quickly. Uh, I wrote it down because I know the time uh, is precious. It's a short time for okay, great. and the rabbi. Thank you for so. Um, first of all, I wanna say uh, salam alaikum, rabbi, and uh, basically it's an honor to talk to you. Salam. Uh, and 
I often listen to you, and I'm really, really grateful uh, for your knowledge and your sense of uh, humor, the jokes, and all that. This is great. So I have uh, three questions, and uh, if you, you know, uh, if you if you have time, you can answer all three. But uh, okay, Rabbi, uh, the way I listen to you and different <coughs> videos, it becomes rather um, uh, clear to me that uh, the New Testament, the Gospel uh, writers manipulated the uh, stuff from the Old Testament and they they they, they said few things uh, particularly in Matthews uh, which are very anti-Semitic and uh, from that day uh, to this now if a person who is reading it and who's a Christian person who is reading it and understands and agrees with you then he has no option to reject it uh, uh, particularly those portions which are anti-Semitic uh, in nature so question is, once he rejects it, then uh, the Christianity, he will, will he remain, can he remain Christian and not anti-Semite? That question number one. I hope uh, it's clear now. I understand. I understand. Thank you. Okay. Second question, Rabbi, is, um, uh, now, uh, you, you, you consider somebody wise and very sincere and with high credibility, and um, and at the same time, you see that they refuse, or at least acknowledge, the anti-Semitism of uh, few unrepented and wildly anti-Semitic people, such as Luther. Uh, I have one person in, in mind, and is it okay for me to mention this name, or, or I can just leave it's it at general? It's not necessary, but okay. go ahead. So, uh, yeah, so I, uh, there's one person that I, I listen off, often listen because of historical, the linguistic, uh, and all that, what comes in with the package, his lecture, that is. And, and yet, I basically try to see if he can acknowledge the anti-Semitism in Luther's writing, at le uh, to the, to the, from the beginning, from the mid of his life, and to the end of his life, it's his last sermon, that is. So, how do you... What do you make of it? Well, I mean, in, in terms of you admire this person being sincere, being credible person, and yet, and even wise person, and yet you see total ignorance or not acknowledging the fact that Luther was indeed a very, very anti-Semitic person, anti-Semite person, anti-Semite, and uh, basically, in my opinion, the L Hitler and all this disaster was a logical result to it. My opinion uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, uh, anybody else. So the third question I have, sir, is if you ignore the present-day uh, anti-Muslim anti-Semitism, which is, to, in my opinion, after this land dispute between Palestinians and Israelis, uh, if you ignore that, and from your review of history, um, of Muslim history, that is, of Christian uh, history, um, how you compare, how you compare the Muslim anti-Semitism from Christian anti-Semitism, starting from Tertullian to Luther to Pope during the Holocaust. If you, if somebody asks you, a, a lay person like myself, uh, asks you to grade them from one to ten, ten being the worst, how do you, uh, how do you grade these two, uh, these two group of people? Oh. I, I love you, brother. I love you, my cousin. I really do. I am so <laughs> honored that you called. Thank you so much. <laughs> And, uh, very good, sir. Very good. I'm, uh, the admiration is mine. I, I can I can tell you how many times I listen, and oh, often the, this is the Ramadan time. So yes. uh, right after after during the sahri, uh, it's hard to go back to sleep. So I just well, listen to you sometimes well, uh, late Ram in the evening. Ramadan Mubarak. Um, oh, uh, thank you. Jazakallah. And, thank you. And you should know, almost every night Muslims come to my home. I'm the rabbi of Jakarta and they break their fast with me in my home uh, almost every day so anyways it's a joy to hear from you and you ask can I add just questions. One, one little yes. thing rabbi can I sure uh, the thing is but that, I can't uh, remember I'm not as smart as I look so I might forget all your questions <laughs> I'm writing them okay. down so no, this is not a question this is this is yes. just a comment and observation because yes. once you mentioned the Indo uh, Indonesia Jakarta good people everything is fine but uh, you know, I'm, I'm concerned because I, I, I consider you as a great source of uh, bringing the you know the, the frauds and uh, of these people like uh, Jews for Jesus or whatnot, 
And um, uh, so I'm, I'm very much concerned. In my, I mean, I'm not expressing to anybody else, but I'm concerned that you are there and God forbid uh, something happens to you, then you know, God forbid again. Uh, I'm, so that's my, that's my thing. Uh, that was that was my um, uh, sort of uh, what's the uh, observation there or my reservation there. But up to you. I'm done. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much Afroz. Thank you for calling in, and we'll try to get to all of your questions. I will say we'll hit the first one first, and then uh, if we if we have a no, caller, I, well, let's hit all of them because they're too important. I, I don't okay. want to ignore any of them. Okay, so uh, so callers, uh, uh, as you're watching, if you're going to call in, be prepared to, to stay on hold for a little bit. Yeah, um, this will take a few minutes. So I'll let you know. Uh, anyway, yeah, that sounds good. Rabbi, take it away, and we will all be listening in. Hashem, the Almighty, blessed be His name, really um, bless you with a very, very wonderful mind. Really, a, a tremendous mind, and you you use it for good things. Let me. Let me uh, begin with the first question, and that is, I believe the first question was, um, if a Christian who, and I, I, I'm just going to use the word Christian, uh, I know people are going to say, I'm messianic, this, please, we're just going to use conventional language, which we understand. If a Christian hears the truth, and understands, and, and correct me if I misunderstood the question, and understands the truth, but still continues to be a Christian, will that person have find favor in God's eyes? Okay, that's the question. Okay, so the answer to that question is... That now look how this uh, trashy rabbi is taking the side of the Muslims why a Muslim is asking if a Christian understand the truth, which means he claim, according to the question, that the Judaism is a truth. But as we know, the Muslims believe that Judaism is false, especially what those people they have in the time of Muhammad. So why the Muslims is asking about the Christians if they understand that Judaism is the truth and they still continue believing in Christianity, when he should ask, what about the Muslims who understand that Judaism is the truth and is still believe in Islam. A Muslim is worried about the Christians who do not understand the truth and what will happen to them. But he is not worried about his own people and himself, who is a Muslim, who is claiming that by the question itself, the question itself contained that, you know what, Judaism must be the truth, so why the Christians don't understand? And if they don't understand, what do you think of them? So if the Muslim acknowledge that Judaism is the truth, then you are a wrong Muslim and you yourself you should concern about what you think you will be in the eyes of God according to the Jews. Instead, the Muslim guy, because he want to play games, you know, they want to play games, and this is their, their toy, you know, this is the toy they use it in their bed. A toy for kids, a toy for adults, it doesn't matter. He is their toy. So now the question and the whole point is how to make him attack the Christians. That's it. But this idiot who claimed to be a rabbi, he did not ask himself, you know what? Instead of asking me what we think about the Christians who understand our God wrong, what about you? Because obviously he don't think Muslims are lost people and he believe maybe they are Jews like him. So this is nothing but a propaganda of hate against Christianity. Let me tell you something, Mr. Uh, Nafti Rabbi. Jesus in the cross, you said if you if you uh, listen to the to, to the Bible according to Matthew or Luke, etc., oh, it's full of hate against the Jews. You are a big fat liar. You are a big fat liar because first of all, all the names you mentioned, they are Jews, you idiot. Paul, he is a Jew. Mark is a Jew. John is a Jew. What are you talking about, you dummy idiot? The Jew are teaching hate against the Jews? That is a very stupid answer of you. Secondly, isn't it the Bible confirmed that Jesus said in the cross, forgive them, Father, they do not know what they are doing? And you, in this video, you say, if somebody do not know what he is doing, well, the God of the Jews, he forgive them. Jesus said, forgive them, Father, forgive who? The Jews who said, 
their blood, his blood is in our hand. He said, forgive them, Father, they do not know what to do or what they are doing. So you are a false man, you are a false teacher, and I'm waiting for you to respond to my email. I guarantee you, I will make you my hummus. We Middle Eastern, we love hummus. And I think you do too, but you are not a Middle Eastern, obviously. Enjoy your stay in Indonesia and your lovely life with the Muslims. You have to be hypocrite to them because you live there, we understand. And this is what many Jews, they are so good on, to be hypocrite, to even to betray their own people when they need to. And this is what you are doing. Thank you very much. Let us continue. Hashem takes everything into account. If, let's say, a person was hurt, the people who were molested, God only knew, you know. So God understands everything. It could be that the person, you know, just lost their mind or whatever it is. So this is in God's hands. One thing that Jews do not do, okay, and we consider it absolutely arrogant, is we don't go, you're going to hell, you're going to heaven. A lot of Christians think like they know exactly who's going everywhere. And it's arrogant. Jews don't do it and Muslims don't do it either. Don't do that, because it's arrogant. Now, so in, I'm answering the principle, if a person is in rebellion against God, in fact, <laughs> this is a principle that's you know, Judaism and Islam as well. If they specifically misrepresent deliberately the word of God, then, then that person is in, will be judged in the day of judgment. This guy, he said that Jews and Muslims both they agree they don't really accuse people who will go to hell who will go to heaven They don't do that. It's the Christians who do that. We Jews and Muslims. We are in love. We don't do that We are good people. We don't do that. The fact this is nothing but a trashy stupid teaching Because all of us we knows that the Bible in the Old Testament all of it is focusing in the chosen people so if everybody will if everybody will go to heaven so what the chosen people is about chosen in what to to go where chosen to do what when god he says you are a chosen people it's mean you are being favored upon others for a reason for you are the one who is believing in the true god the rest they don't so the god you choose he choose you for you choose him but that's it or there is a reward for those who choose God the all all the Old Testament is speaking about that so this is a big fat lie of you and proving that you are a shish kebab rabbi now about the Muslims they believe in the same thing the Muslim they don't uh, send people to heaven and to hell they don't say you will go to hell you will not say what are you talking about you liar I will show you verses about the Jews specifically in the Quran. Chapter 9, verse number 30, accusing you, potato rabbi, that you worship a guy, his name is Uzair, or Uzair. Who is Uzair? Nobody knows. However, as long you are defending Islam, I challenge you to defend the Quran saying that you worship Uzair. I want you as a rabbi to tell us who is Uzair. Show me in your book a guy, his name is Uzair, you Jews, you worship him. So if you have the courage, you should say the Quran did lie about us and there is no such a thing. Or you confirm what the Quran is saying and you show me who is Uzair, the Jews who worship, which is written in their Torah. And according to this statement, the Christians and the Jews both, they worship someone, he is a son of Allah both not only the Christians so according to Muslims you are the same as us and you worship the Son of God now do you dare to say to the Muslims your book is a book of shish kebab we don't have such a name in our book Uzair as a son of God for sure you don't dare because you are a false man now Allah curse upon them you see the curse and this is the Muslim translation. When Allah will curse you, does that mean you will go to heaven, you idiot? 
You just said that the Muslim don't tell people who go to heaven, who go to hell. When the, the whole Quran is about who will go to heaven, who will go to hell. What an idiot liar you are. The whole Quran is about promising Muslims for following Muhammad, believing in Muhammad, that you will go to heaven, you will get a lot of vagina, a lot of boys for sex, a lot of drink, a lot of wine, a lot of Pepsi Cola. Oh, Pepsi Cola is American. It's haram. So a lot of those, and now you are telling us, we and Jews and Muslims, we don't believe in the same thing? As the as the Christians, we we don't we don't we don't cast people to heaven and hell by by just saying that. What a big fat liar you are! Look what Muhammad he said about the Jews. Obviously, he was not talking about you because you are not. Muhammad he said. Muhammad is even taking an oath. He is swearing by Allah, by Him whose hand is my life. Of he who amongst you of uh, uh, the community of the Jews or the Christians hears about me but does not affirm his belief in what in, in that which I have been sent and dies in the state of this belief he shall be but one of the, 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 the people of hellfire you just said you know Muslims don't do that you just said Muslims don't say to people the Christian that the Jews you go to heaven you go to hell you know you, you just said that are you saying things based on knowledge or based on ignorance? Obviously, you are a big fat liar and you do not know what you are talking about. You are just being a hypocrite to the Muslims and because you are a hypocrite. Different hadith. In the judgment day, everybody will be called to follow the ones who, who use to believe in. And that will go for the Christians and the Jews. Now, they will ask the Jews, what do you want now? They will say, Our Lord, we are thirsty, so give us something to drink. They will be directed and addresses, Doth they, they, you will drink, whereupon they will be gathered into hellfire. Who are they, those? Those who they are called the Jews, for they worship Uzair. You see it? And you will be called a liar. <coughs> So what do you mean the Jews and the, 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 the Jews and the Muslims don't say uh, don't 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 say you will go to heaven you will go to hell actually you, the whole program you are doing is about you saying that the Christians are lost and you will go to hell what an idiot you are in the same time you are defending Islam because you are a potato You are a liar, for Allah has never taken anyone as a wife or a son. He's talking to who? To the Jews and to the Christians. To the Jews first. Huh? Who is who is the one the Jews they 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 say they take him as a son? Let me show you, you know, just show you that this is for the Jews, because you might say it doesn't say the Jews. Then the Jews will be called upon, and it will be said to them, Who do you use to worship? They will say, we used to worship Israel. Who is Israel? There's no Israel, actually. It's not Israel. In Arabic, it's Uzair. There's no Israel. This is a false translation. So you see how false liar, and then it says you will go to hellfire. Why you are lying to the people you are talking to, you idiot? Different hadith. I can show you endless. Again here Muhammad he confirmed that you Jews you will go to hell fire and you will burn. Then the Jews will be called upon and it will be said to them, What do you use to worship? They will say we used to worship Ezra. Now again I challenge you to say this is a big fat lie in the Quran. There is no Jews ever worship a man his name is Ezra that he is a son of Allah. I challenge you to say that we don't even worship Allah and we don't have Allah in our book. I challenge you to say that every word there is nothing but a fabrication about the Jews. Do you dare? For sure you don't. For you are a potato and you are a shish kebab and you are a filthy creature who don't dare to say the truth. I'm not calling you names. I'm just describing you. Even Muhammad, he said, that in the judgment day, If a rock, if a if a uh, if a Jew he hide behind a rock, the rock will say there is a Jew behind me. Kill him. 
Do you see it? Not only you will go to hell in Islam, but a Muslim he have a duty to slaughter every Jew. And even Muslim rocks. They will say there is a Jewish behind me. So it's a conspiracy against the Jews. And you are talking about the Christians hating the Jew, you filthy liar. The prophet of Islam called the Jews pigs and monkeys. The, 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 the most people who hate the Muslims. Uh, uh, the most people who hate the believers. The most who will harm the believers. And he says clearly that your enemy, enemy number one is the Jews. And you are defending them. For you are betrayal to your own kind. If you have a kind. You are a businessman doing business just to stay in Indonesia. And I would like to ask you if you answer this video. If you dare. You never dare. Why you are Indonesia and why you are being hypocrite to the Muslims? And do you dare to answer what I said or you will jump over it? I'm waiting for you to accept debating me. I will make you shish kebab guarantee. Thank you. I think I'm done with this idiot.